give our organs, we allow another family hours, days, years with their relatives that they could be losing. I say this from personal experience. My little cousin, he needed a liver transplant when he was born. He was going to be put on the waiting list. Luckily, somebody in the same hospital gave him a liver just out of the pure kindness because their child was dying. And so when he died, they gave him his liver. That is just amazing. The pros of giving your, uh, your organs to someone, you allow the other person's family and whatnot to, to live and be happy together. But you also give your family something. They see a goodness out of your death because you're still on earth. You're still here, just helping some other family. And that's what most people, like myself, my mom was totally against becoming an organ donor because she saw that as, I don't really know how to explain how she saw that because she saw that as evil. Like you're not gonna be fully yourself when I see you in that casket. I had to explain to her, mom, I'm not gonna be here, I'm gonna be somewhere much, much greater than here. I'll be looking down and you can still know that my body, like parts of my body are helping someone. And she has changed her views on everything and she allowed me at the age of 16 to become an organ donor, which in Tennessee you have to be 18, but they signed the papers allowing me to become an organ donor. That also crosses with blood donations. I give blood every, I think it's three months. A pint of blood can save up to three lives. So far, I've saved nine. And that too has a personal experience behind it with my aunt. She used 12 pints of blood in the two years prior to her death. And I'm so grateful that I got those extra two years. And the person that donated is still living, of course, because you can do that while you're still living because blood is renewable. And 